first and foremost, we, we have to discuss. We've got our rugby segment later on in the evening, but it's Max Jorgensen, 18-year-old kid, first year out of school, on debut, oh. two tries, six defenders beaten. Uh, like 90 plus run meters, like this kid they was shouldn't have absolutely it. Look at it. awesome. <laughs> it wasn't it was just tapping down tries on the wing; it was yeah. like that, that, that's through Alatoa and Balatini, right? Yeah, he bumped off two two of the Wallabies' first pick players to get that first try there. But Dallin, like this kid, he is the real deal. There's no two ways about it. Well, he certainly is. I think just the the composure he showed on the weekend was, was the biggest thing for me. Obviously, he scores two tries, but the moments for me were, you know, exiting out of his own zone, executing brilliant kicks, you know what I mean? Getting his team out of trouble, but just on the big stage at 18 years of age to do what he done, do what he has done has just been fantastic. I know it's only one game, but he certainly looks like he's going to be there for a long time. But it's not just, I mean, it is one game in first grade, but Dosh, you would know this, you were coaching Churchy first 15 last year. This is a kid from Joey's down at Sydney who was just absolutely blowing everyone off the park, and to have a kid come out of that schoolboy system where you can be a big fish in a little pond and go straight into doing that, like, it is a very good sign for a very healthy future for Jorgo. Oh man, massive. And I, I have to agree with Dale. I think what impressed me the most about him was his composure. Uh fucking lost audio, haven't I? Nah, you're here, man. No, we no, heard no, all we, of that, we, we, heard that. <laughs> <laughs> we heard that one, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> um no, he was his was his was his composure. And you know, <laughs> you're right. Composure. You can I think um, you know, from what I'm hearing, like there was no one that sort of dominated schoolboy rugby that they've seen since sort of Kurtley Beale. And he's done the same thing. He's come straight straight first year out of school and he's excelled at, um, and, you know, yes, it's his first game, but, man, he's got everything there um, that makes us think that he'll have a have a really long career. But I, re- I hope that, you know, I hope DC manages him quite well and, you know, doesn't expose him too much at this level because I've just seen it too much before. Um Kids just, you know, it's inevitable that he's going to make mistakes. Yes, that was a great 80 minutes, but the mistakes will come and he's under the spotlight. And yeah, I just hope, and and I'm sure he does, you know, has the right support around him because he's got a long, long time in front of us on TVs. And the thing is, I mean, you were talking about the spotlight being on him and hopefully it doesn't burn him out. But this is a kid who... who wants to play the game of rugby. The, uh, the, they were actually able to catch up with him after the game. And he actually said, I think... I think just the love of the game, it's always been the favourite in my eyes. Something just clicked and I just wanted to stay in union for the love of it. So this is a kid who was headhunted by Trent Robinson from the Roosters to come. And he has said that. Like, And this dude, his dad played for both the Wallabies and I think the Penny Panthers. So like had both uh, an opportunity to very easily have um, a foot in both camps now, but he has clearly signalled that rugby is his game, and that is just such a so shot in the arm for the for the game of rugby. Yeah, and I think it's just a, it's just a win for rugby as well. Obviously, you, quite often, you know, we discussed this previously that we lose, you know, what I mean, the other way, and it's good to get one yeah, back. Yeah. And obviously, we've got, we've got a good one in, in Max Jorgensen. Mate, yep. it's it's sorry, friends. Do you reckon he's got a hint of uh, Dom Shipley about him too? The way he runs, very much nice so. And quick. Yeah. That a little bit like hunch. Man, I tell, I tell you what. And the way the way he moves, like he's obviously he's quite quick, but he looks so balanced, balanced through yeah. his hips. Um, you know, mate, that was Rob Valentini and Alan Alatoa who he ducked under, and then a good quick fend. He's obviously his spatial awareness is pretty good, um, mate. Yeah, pretty impressive. Oh.